I ask God for healing and it comes. I ask God for a job and it came in abundance. I ask for a car and it came better than I thought. You're a lucky guy. At least <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> at least in earthly things. <laughs> but when I ask for a wife, he doesn't answer. Why? <laughs> You're not as lucky as I thought. <laughs> The other things could all be coincidences <laughs> because there are a lot of people in the world who get good jobs, good cars and even healing in hospitals. You go and ask doctors, non-Christians get healed as well. I'm not saying God is not in all these things but remember God is a loving father and you can't say that he doesn't care. So don't think God is not interested in the most. It's much more important for you to get a good wife than a good car. I hope you believe that. <laughs> Definitely. A good wife will do you a lot more good than a good car any day. So, but you must believe that God is interested in you. If you come to him with unbelief, you won't get it. So let me give you a definition, my definition, which I've worked out through many years. Uh, I can't give you an exact verse for that in the Bible, but it's based on this. If you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts, like it says in Matthew 7, 11, to those who ask him. So based on that verse, my definition of faith is this. God is more eager to give me what he has promised than I am eager to get it. Here's the definition of unbelief. I am more eager to get what God has promised then God is eager to give it to me. Now tell me, what do you have? Unbelief or faith? Many of you will say you have unbelief. You think you are more eager to be filled with the Holy Spirit than God is to fill you with the Holy Spirit. Well, no wonder you're never filled with the Holy Spirit because it's unbelief. Unbelief is, I am more eager. God doesn't seem to be so eager. Well, you keep that attitude, you'll never be filled with the Spirit. Change it to faith. God is more eager than I am to be filled with His Holy Spirit. God is more eager than I am that I should have the partner of His choice. But when He brings you the partner of His choice, don't say, oh Lord, she's not good looking enough for me. <laughs> Maybe he sees that attitude in you, then say, God says, I've given up on you. Go and find whom you like. <laughs> so, if you're looking for, I'm not saying you shouldn't look for a good looking wife, but look for someone who is spiritual. You know, Proverbs 11:22 says that beauty is only like the, a golden ring. If the character of a woman is like a pig, and she's got beauty like a golden ring, it's like a pig with a golden ring on its nose and you fall so much in love with the golden ring that you marry the pig. That's... <laughs> you got to be careful. <laughs> but that's exactly what a lot of men do. Boy, what a pretty girl. What a lovely golden ring. I mean, let's forget that it's a pig. I'm going to marry it. <laughs> this is Proverbs chapter 11 verse 22. This is not my idea. The illustration is given by God himself. So, uh, let me see if that reference is right. I think it is. I'm getting a bit old now. I don't always remember the right references. Yeah, it is. 11.22. Okay. So, trust God. He'll give it to you. 